Hello, today I'm talking about the governing vessel. It is the second extraordinary vessel of the meridians, which means it's working all the time. And the governing vessel is basically like your battery. It's your stored energy and it's where excess energy goes. So if you have too much energy in your body, it goes into the governing and stays there until you need to get that back out again. It's also considered the guardian. It's kind of like an armor, a shield on your back. Um, and it's location. So the central that we talked about yesterday started at the pubic bone and went up to the lip. Well, the governing starts at your bottom and goes basically at the anus and goes all the way up your back, over your head to your top lip. And basically it, it also goes around and ends at your, your gums of your top, the top of your mouth there. Um, it's related to the teres major muscle, which is also on the shoulder blade, but it's the lower part of the shoulder blade. It allows you to do this motion to pull your arms back and together. Um, foods that support it are whole protein foods. So like fish, meat, eggs, dairy, things like that can really help give energy and support to the governing meridian. And some metaphors or some things to think about are what burden or weight needs to be lifted. When you are carrying a heavy load, it uses up all of your energy. It causes your shoulders to slump forward. And so if you can unload some of that, you'll stand taller and that governing line will actually be more supported. The Bible talks about casting all your cares on God. And I think that's an important thing to remember when we think about the governing meridian. It's just when things get too heavy and too hard, we really need to just pray and give those things over to God because we're, like I said before, not really in control anyway. So um, let me know if you have questions about the governing meridian and I'll see you guys tomorrow.